We have a few presentations this evening. The first one is um, a presentation proclaiming and declaring April 24th to the 30th as West Nile Virus and Mosquito and Vector Control Awareness Week. And I believe Dr. Peavy is here to accept that. I'd like to read this. Mr. Riekel is here also, who as our representative does a lot of work. Um, let's see if this is the right one, yes. City Council of the City of San Bruno State of California. Uh, a number of whereases, but they're all short. West Nile virus is a mosquito-borne disease that can result in death or severe de debilitation for humans, horses, birds, and wildlife. And in 2010, West Nile virus resulted in five deaths in California residents and sickened over 100 others. And adequately funded mosquito control, disease surveillance, and public awareness programs are the best ways to prevent outbreaks of West Nile virus. And mosquitoes continue to be a source of illness, death, and human suffering and professional mosquito control based on scientific research has made great advances in reducing mosquitoes and the diseases they transmit. And the San Mateo County Mosquito and Vector Control District works with other public health agencies to reduce pesticide risk to humans, animals, and the environment while protecting human health. And whereas, West Nile Virus and Mosquito and Vector Control Awareness Week will increase the public's awareness of West Nile virus and of the importance of integrated management in controlling mosquitoes and other vectors in San Mateo County now, therefore, I, Jim Ruane, Mayor of the City of San Bruno, proclaim this week of April 24th through April 30th, 2011, as West Nile Virus and Mosquito and Vector Control Awareness Week. And I'd like to present this to Dr. Peter. Thank you, Mayor Ruane and the uh, City Council and the City of San Bruno. Um, we do this as an opportunity first to, to get awareness of the public in your cities uh, that the district exists and the things that you can do to help us out and the services that are available to you. Uh, we're paid for by property taxes. Um, if you're having mosquito problems, you're welcome to call us and we'll come out and do a service request. In addition to that, we have a a database of sources and we have the whole county divided into zones with technicians in each zone who go around through those sources on a regular basis and check them for um, mosquito development. Uh, we use biorational <coughs> pesticides which are um, a bacteria which ver is very specific to the mosquitoes themselves and doesn't harm other wildlife. Uh, and we're also available to give people information about insects or rats or other uh, vectors. And we do surveillance for tick-borne diseases throughout the whole county. So thank you very much. I'd also like to thank the city for um, the monthly slide that you're running of mosquito information on your cable channel. And also thank you for the services of uh, Robert Reichel, who's on a number of our committees and chairs our policy committee and has been very active in the district. Thank you very much. Thank you, doctor. And once again, thank you, Robert. We have a, uh, we were supposed to receive a donation this evening from Half Bay Rotary, Rotor, 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 Rotoract, Rotoract, okay, club to benefit the residents. Uh, that will be put off until our next meeting. It's a little early for some of the kids to get here because our meeting started uh, a little early this evening. Uh, one more presentation, that's a proclamation recognizing the San Bruno dispatchers. And uh, this will be accepted by Debbie Chambry on behalf of everyone. Um, this is recognizing National Public Safety Dispatcher, Dispatchers Week, April 11 to the 15th, 2011, and expressing appreciation to San Bruno Police Dispatch staff for their service during the September 9th explosion and fire incident. Whereas on the evening of September 9, 2010, a high pressure natural gas line in the Glenview neighborhood of San Bruno broke apart and exploded. The explosion knocked out a city water main line, ignited flames of 2,000 degrees, shooting over 100 feet into the air. 38 homes were destroyed in the blast and 66 persons were injured and most tragically, eight people lost their lives as a result of the explosion and fire. And whereas immediately upon the initial explosion, San Bruno Police Department dispatch staff handled hundreds of calls from frightened residents and from the first responders throughout Bay Area, the Bay Area and beyond with efficiency, professionalism and compassion. And whereas San Bruno dispatch staff effectively coordinated with the San Mateo County Public Safety Dispatch Center to facilitate the safe and effective deployment of personnel and apparatus and provided effective support to police department field operations which achieved timely and efficient evacuation of residents to prevent additional loss of life and quickly accounted for all residents who were impacted by this incident. 
And whereas public safety dispatchers are the first and most critical contact our citizens have with emergency services, and this incident is but one example of the service that the San Bernardino Police dispatchers provide every day to assure the safety of citizens and the public safety first responders who rely upon the quality and accuracy of information obtained from citizens. Now, therefore, I, Jim Wayne, Mayor of the City of San Bruno, on behalf of the entire San Bruno City Council and the citizens of San Bruno, to hereby proclaim the week of April 11 to the 15, 2011, as Public Safety Dispatchers Week in San Bruno, and to hereby recognize the city, city of San Bruno's dispatchers for the exemplary service during the September 9th incident. Mr. Mayor, City Council members, it's my pleasure to accept this award or this proclamation on behalf of the Public Safety Dispatchers for San Bruno Police Department. I'm honored to work with a team of dedicated professionals who daily um, strive to provide the citizens of San Bruno and the police officers and staff that they serve with the highest level of customer service. So on, on their behalf, I thank you very much for this recognition. Thank you very much. This truly was a team effort on behalf of everyone in the county, but especially our city. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 